All right, guys, welcome back to the Maple Review. We got a brand new video coming at you today. Uh, it's a really exciting one. We are going to be going and trying on and grabbing some of the loved and the hated on common projects. I have a pair of Thursday white sneakers. I love them, I wear them all the time. They're like 200 bucks, I think, and they're pretty good. So I'm really curious to see if these $400 fancy ass common projects live up to the hype or if it's just the brand name. So either way, I'm excited to get them. I've been a fan of them. So we are about to head out. We're going over to uh, Oak Hall here in Nashville. It's a really cool sort of old historic uh, Memphis, Nashville shop. So we're going over there. They're sponsoring today's video and ho hooking me up with the two pairs of common projects and uh, we're going to grab them and test them out and see what we think. All right, so I know I'm like two years behind the curve on the whole common project hype train. And so you're probably wondering why I even care about reviewing and trying the common projects. So I'm gonna explain that a little bit, but first we're going to grab some coffee. So we got a nice, beautiful iced Americano. We're about to head over to Green Hills to Oak Hall and try on these $415 sneakers and uh, see what the first thoughts are. And also see how the sizing is. I've heard they're pretty narrow, so I'm pretty interested. And they don't do half sizes. So I'm interested to see if my fat foot's gonna fit in one of these, so. Obviously, Common Projects came on the scene. They were super hyped. And especially like two years ago, I feel like there's videos every day about them coming out and they were getting a lot of traction. So they've always been in the back of my mind as something I wanted to try out. I do think they're beautiful. I do think the whole MO behind the brand is cool. But you might be wondering, hey, you already have white Thursdays. The hype train's kind of gone on the white sneaker thing. So why did I reach out to Oak Hall asking about Common Projects? And the reason is simple, because I still want them. I love my White Thursday sneakers and they're cool, but Common Projects, just for whatever reason, whether it's just the brand name, it's just marketing or the lack of marketing, they're just fucking cool. And so I want some, I wanna try them on, and I wanna see if they live up to the hype. And I wanna see also if I will feel different wearing them, even though they look almost identical to the Thursday sneakers. I have a hunch that with any cool designer like brand name like a big reason people pay the money in their business is the feeling the consumer gets buying them and wearing them so i'm gonna see if that's real with these because like i said the thursday ones are pretty much identical to the common projects but the common projects are just they're just cooler so we're gonna see not only the fit and the quality and the comfort but I'm also gonna have try to have an honest dialogue with the channel about like, do I feel better wearing them knowing they're common projects compared to other white leather sneakers. So we are here in Green Hills. Uh, Oak Hall is right there. So we're about to go in here and try these on, see what size I am. I typically wear an eight and a half in sneakers in fancy shoes like Red Wings or, or boot brands, I sometimes wear an eight. And then sneakers, I sometimes wear a nine, but most of the time I'm an eight and a half. So we're gonna see if I fit better in the eight or the nine in common projects. I wanna give a big shout out to today's sponsor, which is Oak Hall. Again, they are a retail shop here in Nashville and in Memphis for men and women. They also have a great e-com store, so anybody, wherever you are, you can uh, buy all kinds of really good stuff from Barber to Good Loafers. They have a lot of suits and nice sports coats and jackets, stuff like that for men. They also carry a bunch of other beloved uh, men's brands. So I just want to shout them out. Thanks for sponsoring the video, hooking me up with the Common Projects to review. And I would definitely say if you are into dressing well, man or woman, and you like nice brands that are gonna last a long time, definitely check out Oak Hall. They often have great sales going on too. So um, I think the Common Projects on their site right now are on sale for like $320 maybe. So it's a nice little discount there, but definitely check them out.
So we're here at Oak Hall in the shoe department. Uh, Chris is about to go grab the shoes from the back, bring them out, and we're gonna try them on and see what the sizing is like. So let's do it. All right, so here we have the Common Projects. Uh, beautiful, sleek, love them. I love the little subtle gold detail here. And these are the size 41 Euro, which is an eight for US. Again, they don't do half sizes. So I'm about to try these on, but before I do, for comparison, I don't know if anybody even has one of these, but every shoe store has one. So I'm gonna put my foot on here and show what it measures, so that as I'm trying these on, uh, if you're just at home, you can go to your local Hibbit Sports or whatever, measure your foot, look at the measurements, and learn from my experience what size probably will fit you. So, let's do that. All right, so I have my right foot on here, and you can see my toe is right, this is my bigger foot, always use your bigger foot. But you can see my right foot is right at what would be an eight and a half. And so we're gonna try on the eight and see how it goes. First impression is that the eights fit pretty, pretty good. Another tip for trying on shoes, learn from my experience, put them on and walk around. I don't know how many times, because I hate trying stuff on, I've just thrown them on and done this number, the old foot tap, and I was like, oh yeah, these fit great, and I'll go. And then I get home, I walk around in them, and it turns out they're not good to go, and they're too small or too big, so. Uh, first impression on feet is they fit me pretty good. My toe, end of my toe is right here. So I think that's pretty, pretty ideal, honestly. Um, so I'm gonna walk around a little bit and see how they feel. Black hands, white hands, white shoes. So overall, they feel pretty damn good. Uh, like I said, I wear eight and a half in most shoes, New Balance eight and a half. These are a 41.8, and they feel good. They're like a little bit roomy, and they're but they're still snug. My heel's not slipping. I have really thin six socks on too, so and they still feel good. But uh, let's test them out. So yeah, they're they're feeling great. And then also while we're walking, I'll point out a few awesome things that today's sponsor has in the store. So you can see some beloved. Filson products, bags. Everybody loves Filson bags, right? We got plenty of them. And I'm just walking for another thing that everybody needs, good pants. All right guys, so I've walked around in these common projects. I've tried them out and they feel great. Again, this is the 41 or the US 8 and I typically wear an eight and a half, and these fit, I would say, pretty much perfect. I have a little bit of room, but not too much. Uh, they're nice and snug, they feel good, I think they look awesome. So I was gonna try on the eight and the nine and decide, but I'm not even gonna put the nine on, because these are a little bit roomy still, so the nine's gonna be much too big. Um, so I would say overall, size down a half size, if you're in between, so. But love them, and we're gonna wear them around, and I'll give you uh, initial reviews after a day of wear, and then I'll do a full review in a few months. Alrighty guys, we did it. We got the common projects. Again, size 41, size eight for me, typically wearing eight and a half, and big shout out to Oak Hall. They are just so helpful, such nice people in there. So I really appreciate them. We got to try on some good suits, which has me wanting to act up for sure. I'm gonna buy a $2,000 suit, which I don't need to do right now, but I might do that soon and film it, because I do need a good Navy suit. But all in all, love them. First impressions, can't say enough good things about them. They feel great, honestly. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think they fit better than the Thursdays. The Thursdays are a little shorter and wider. These are a little bit more narrow and they, they just feel better on my feet, to be honest, off first impressions. So I'm gonna wear them around for the rest of the day, maybe a day or two, I'll do a first impressions video. And then of course, after I've spent some time, broken them in, we'll do the full review. So thanks for watching this video. And uh, I'll follow up with uh, some afterthoughts later on and see you in the next one.
hey there. Thanks for watching Fun B-Roll Boss Planning Out Podcast Productions as a service offering. I'm going to give you my quick closing thoughts on the Common Project. So, um, would I pay $415 for them at this point? I don't think so. Do I like them? Yes, I really like them. Are they comfortable? Yes, they're comfortable. Do I feel cooler wearing these compared to other plain white sneakers? I, in fact, do. So, I do think that there is something about the brand that feels nice to wear versus a different competitor that, that looks exactly the same, but you know it's not Common Projects. But all in all, I like these. I'm glad that I have them. Would I go out and purchase them? I don't know, probably not, unless I found a really good sale. So that's where I'm at. I'm gonna do a full review soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.